Hey guys, welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. Welcome to the Familia. If you are new, so guys, I'm so excited because I'm back with another two full day foundation review. And the foundation of choice is this brand new Derma Blend CC Cream Full Coverage Foundation. So if you're interested in seeing how it all goes down using this bad boy for two days on oily skin with big pores and to see if it's legit, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn notifications on because I'm always here. And follow me on my socials because I'm always there too. Let's get started. Hey guys, oh, I am so excited. I get so excited excited I don't have all my supplies together I moisturize put sunscreen put all that jazz although this foundation does have SPF I always add my own SPS SPF beforehand I use the Kula sunscreen I love it because it works with makeup without makeup it doesn't leave the white cast it feels super comfortable it's not greasy it's bomb all right guys let's start with the touch and sew no problem pore filling primer I forget how good this primer is. Fill these bad boys up. Pores you can see like towards the middle of the face and right here. So when it comes to primers, you wanna let it sit on the skin for a little bit so the skin can absorb. So guys, oh my God. I started using Derma Blend a long time ago. I think when I was a kid because my mom used this brand growing up she has a lot of hyperpigmentation on her skin and derma blend at the time was like that full coverage queen that would give you that coverage you needed if you had hyperpigmentation and also they always have my mom's skin tone because my mom is deeper it always just worked out so derma blend is always gonna be like a special brand to me because they've been in the game for a long long time they just released their full coverage cc cream with spf 50 so when I saw this, I immediately purchased it through their website. I believe this is exclusively on their website from the last I heard. So, oh, I'm so excited. Usually with CC creams or tinted foundations or skin tints, I like to apply it with my hand, but you guys know we're gonna be here two days. We're gonna apply it differently. So, oh, let's wait a, a couple of minutes for the primer to absorb a little more and I'll be back. All right guys, so I'm excited. Primer's been on for a while now. I was like on my phone. You know how that goes. So it comes in a squeezy tube. Let's see. I've used this shade before with their body foundation and oh, it has a thicker consistency. You see it's not moving, which is cool. Okay, I don't know, this might be a lot, but because we are applying with the hand, oh, it's thin. I don't know, full coverage, I always think of thicker foundations. Okay, oh, it's a little light. Hopefully it could oxidize a little. Oh wow, a little goes a long way, you see? Ooh, girl, okay. Oh yeah, she's full coverage. Oh, look. It's full, but it doesn't feel like super heavy. This shade's a little bit too light for me, but it's okay. I always avoid the under eye area. So let's look. Full coverage before and after, what do you think? Okay, so I'm gonna get some on my sponge, my damp sponge, and let's just like blend it out. Damn, I like this, I like this. It feels good. It doesn't feel heavy, which is very surprising. Wow. All right, so let me put this side on and I'll give you all the info about the product. The brand new Dermablend Continuous Correction CC Cream with SPF 50 is a full coverage foundation. Comes in 16 shades. Retails for $39. I am in the shade 40N Medium 2. This is a non comedogenic CC cream foundation that provides skin tone coverage, correction, and protection. CC cream gives you a perfectly balanced, undetectable full coverage without clogging pores or weighing skin down. Fade defined up to 24 hour makeup color wear. Clinically tested to visibly improve skin radiance after four weeks. Reduces the look of redness, discoloration, hyperpigmentation, dark spots, age spots, leaving your skin looking even. And Derma Blend is cruelty free. And this comes in a one ounce bottle. All right, guys, I'm looking a little ghostly, but it's okay. <laughs> Let's look at the skin. So the foundation looks really good. It's full coverage, but lightweight. It's not heavy. It doesn't look like it would look cakey on the skin. And it's really full coverage in the sense that it's covering everything, but that texture is thin. And I think I used a lot, like a little goes a long way. It is currently, we're starting a little late, 10.30. 
in the morning. I'm gonna put the rest of my face on. No, I'm gonna put some concealer and then the other BRB. So I just set my concealer. I feel like the face looks a lot better because we're looking very ghostly. And as I was thinking, instead of setting with setting powder as we usually do, I wanna really change it up for day one and two. So we're gonna use a pressed powder to set the actual face. We're gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible. I am in the shade Radiant Sand or Golden Sun. I can go either one. So we're gonna get this clean brush, get some powder, dust it off, and then just set it lightly. I got this idea because I'm like, this foundation is light, so let's darken it in a way where we don't have to put a bunch of bronzer on, you know? And not too much, because obviously we want to see how the actual liquid foundation works, and we don't want the L'Oreal to overshadow Dermablend. Let me know if you guys like this way of setting your foundation. I don't do it this way, because I always felt like pressed foundations are super thick. This one has a perfect consistency of like full coverage, but it won't make you look all like secca and stuff. Let's look at the skin. What are your thoughts? Let me know. I feel like the skin looks really good. It doesn't look heavy. It doesn't look thick. It doesn't feel thick. I really like the consistency of this foundation because it's full coverage like it says, but it doesn't feel that way. And that consistency, like I was telling you, is pretty thin. What I'm gonna do is just put bronzer blush and BRB. I am back so I have falsies on for the first time in like a year oh my god who am I you guys saw I just put bronzer blush and set it I don't ever put highlight on the face I keep it super simple because I want you guys to see how the foundation looks especially on oily skin so let's get close and see I love how the skin looks it looks beautiful it looks radiant it has a full coverage look to it it has great skincare ingredients it has spf although the shade is light i feel like it really warmed up to the skin pretty well so what do you guys think how does the skin look so far so good to me but of course the test is really when we go in the sunlight right now and the all day wear test also the lip color i'm using the rare beauty in transform lip color oh so pretty but yeah this is it guys i love you guys and i'll see you next second bye hey guys i'm back so i completely forgot to put lower lash mascara but it's okay this is how the skin looks in daylight what do you think really like it it doesn't feel heavy it feels like a cc cream but it's super pigmented i absolutely love that between daylight and studio lighting it pretty much looks the same i don't see anything that's very different sometimes in studio lighting things can look so much better than natural lighting you know so so far hey guys i'm back it is 10 o'clock we've had the foundation on for 12 hours and before we get into it i want to show you guys here at around five or six today in full golden hour how the skin was looking and oh my god the skin was looking so bomb super airbrushed you couldn't really see oils you couldn't really see pores it just looked beautiful and here we are guys 12 hours later and let's see how the skin looks i of course haven't touched up and I have to say, the skin looks beautiful. I don't look oily. I don't look super gastada. It just really held up very, very well. The compact powder we put helped, but for the most part, I feel like it's the foundation at work. Uh, and it's actually a CC cream. So the skin looks good. Of course, we didn't touch up. We are oily. We're always gonna be oily, especially after 12 hours, but we don't look super, oily in which like the oils kind of take over the face and this is my mask i wore it today for a good amount of time i would say like an hour or two there was a lot of transfer but the skin still looked put together oh my god i'm so surprised i took my lashes off because i'm not used to wearing lashes you know i want to touch the skin up and see how it looks wow it looks so good don't mind the patches here hold on let's fix that really quick look at the skin it looks so nice 
It looks very natural, very lightweight. You still can't really see the pores. You see the nose area, it's still intact. Wow, I am highly, highly impressed on how this works because I'm not a baby cream type of girl, but I know like BB creams and tinted moisturizers are really the thing because we really want to show off the skin. As much pigment as it has and as full coverage as it is, it doesn't look like it's sucking the moisture out of the skin or like the natural look of the skin, you know? And I think this is it, guys. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye! Hey guys, we're back. Day number two using Dermablend CC Cream. Oh, I am so excited. You know what I was thinking yesterday? I didn't tell you if it oxidized. So let's try it out first. Let me put it on my hand here. So look at this shade. You know, I was looking at the footage. I'm like, the shade's not that, that light because it really warmed up to the skin. But I feel like I could still probably go a shade darker. All right, guys, I just, I just put some mascara on. <laughs> so we're shaking it up and let's, Let's go with this much because a little goes a long way. And I feel like it is oxidizing a little bit. You see, maybe like a shade. So, okay, cool. We're going to use this Morphe brush today. We're not going to use primer and we're going to apply it with the brush. So we're going to grab it and let's see. I did my moisturizer. I put sunscreen, all that jazz, maybe about an hour ago. Usually you want to wait for your skincare to absorb in the skin before you go on with makeup. If you have time, of course, you know? And I'm just stippling it in like this, like tapping it. Try not to like rub it because you can get streaks and it's a little harsh on the skin. I mean, I don't always stipple because I'll forget. And sometimes like I'm in a rush. It's like, look at this, how it looks. Grab a little more, I think we can build it up. I would call it like a lightweight foundation, but it does have CC cream like feels also. It doesn't feel like a full on full coverage foundation. It's like the lightest weight full coverage foundation you'll probably try. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm getting the same feel that I got yesterday. Let's get close. I feel like it looks glowier today, but it feels super comfortable, super lightweight. So let me just put some concealer and I'll be back. Crazy what a little concealer can do, you know? We're gonna go in with this Huda Beauty setting powder. And since we didn't use setting powder yesterday, we're gonna use it today. We're gonna use our powder puff. I get these on Amazon. They're cotton powder puffs. We're gonna even out the product on our hand and start just working it in the skin. Tapping it like this, making sure we're locking everything in. Because yesterday, guys, the skin looked so flawless for most of the day. I even think in, in the check-in, I we looked really, really good. Like no pores in sight. Wow, wow, look at this skin. Let's get close. What are your thoughts right now? How do you think the skin looks in day two? Getting very similar results from yesterday. So that's always nice because it just lets us know that the foundation is consistently working well and we look flawless. That's one of the things I wasn't really aware of that we were gonna look flawless. I just love Dermablend and I knew it was gonna be a full coverage because it says it in the name and Dermablend, you know, she gives you that pow. It is currently 11 a.m. in the morning. Should we start the clock at 10.30 so I can go to sleep earlier today? Okay, so we're gonna, I'm just gonna put the rest of my face on and then be back. Hola, hola, I am back. Although we used a brush, brushes tend to give us more of a fuller coverage look, but this foundation is so full coverage, it's giving, I feel like the coverage for both days, it's very similar. So let me get close so you guys can see. I don't see any pores. I don't see any texture. The skin, it kind of gives it like a filtered effect. Usually my focus with foundation reviews is oily skin and big pores. I think I'm liking today's application better. I mean, I love a hand application too, but I don't know, something about the brush is good. Something about using a brush that's really good is if you have too much blush, bronzer, use the same brush you use and you can just melt it in like this and then everything just looks so seamless seamlessly 
beautiful instead of having like marks and patches and like demarcation lines i don't know lately my blush has been a hot mess i don't know why but this has been saving it and another thing i do want to bring up because it does have spf there's been times where spf has freaking me out but i didn't see anything out of the ordinary when i woke up today at my skin my skin usually reacts pretty quickly if it something doesn't work or clashes with my skin for the most part i don't have sensitive skin it's pretty normal but i I know there's specific types of SPF that do break you out more than others, but this one is very gentle because makeup that has SPF can give us flashbacks. So let's turn this flash on. It doesn't look like we have flashback. So not bad, which is always a good thing, you know? Let's jump in front of the window, you guys know, to see how the situation looks. And I'll see you in the next check-in, bye. Hey guys, so this is how the skin looks looking good i feel like we have a nice glow you know again i didn't wear highlight or anything everything on the skin is matte but it looks good huh i feel like it's looking very similar from yesterday but today it looks a little bit different in daylight versus studio lighting what do you think let me know but yeah guys this is it see you next check-in bye hey guys i'm back the hair could no longer be down anymore if you saw my olaplex review you know what i'm talking about it's like at that point but we're back <laughs> It is, what time is it? It is 10.38 in the evening. I've had the foundation on for 12 hours. And I want to show you guys here in daylight. I did have another lipstick on because I was doing a lip swatching video. But it is the same day. This is at around 4 o'clock. The skin looked bomb. Like so freaking bomb. I absolutely loved how it was looking. Super fresh. Super blurring. Super flawless. And here we are 12 hours later with no touch-up. Although I did touch up my mouth a little bit because I was doing lip swatches and it was coming off. So the mouth area may look a little bit better, but let's get close and see. Skin right now looks so beautiful. It doesn't look like I need a touch up. I mean, if you get really close, we do have oiliness, but for the most part, look, everything is intact. We're gonna be oily, of course, but you can barely see any texture, any pores, anything and this is that we applied the foundation with no primer and we use only setting powder as opposed to yesterday we used foundation powder which can give you a little more coverage so yes yes and yes this cc cream foundation is bomb i recommend it i think it just worked beautifully well i've been loving it the whole two days and nothing has changed i just really wanted you guys to see how it worked out on day number two you know applying it differently and not wearing primer most importantly you know i love this so much i recommend this i will be buying another one of these if you're looking for a lightweight but full coverage foundation that feels nice on the skin this is your girl but i think this is it guys let me know your thoughts on this foundation have you seen it around have you purchased it have you tried derma blend Give me your thoughts because you guys know we love to chat in the comments. Thank you for hanging out with me, showing me so much love and support. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!